So I figured it'd been a while since I'd done a video, so um, I just picked up myself a new handheld since I recently got licensed for the amateur radio bands, and ev uh, it's a Yaesu FT270. Every video I could find online on it was uh, super confusing and hard to follow, so I figured I'd do a quick review video on it, and then I would get into the details of how to program in frequencies. Super simple. Um, first opinions of the radio, very well built, robust, um, solid little radio, crystal clear audio, crystal clear sound on the other end from any QSOs I uh, or QSO reports I have received. Um, she transmits from one third, uh, the frequency range is 136 to 174 megahertz, and the frequency transmit range is 144 to 148 megahertz. Um, supply, the supply voltage is around 7.2 volts DC. Um, auto power off on 8 milliamps. And she only weighs 13.8 ounces with antenna and battery attached. And, um, yeah, like I said, crystal clear sound, crystal clear reports on the other end of people receiving me when I'm on it. And now to get into programming, super simple. Uh, unlock the keypad. So first of all, you're gonna go into VHF mode. And I'm just gonna pull up the repeater book right quick, which is a great little app. And just find one I don't have in yet. Uh, sorry, just bear with me for one second. Okay, so I'm going to go with the repeater in Argentia, for example. So you're going to go in and push in the frequency, which is one, four, six eight two zero then down in the bottom there's a button mark mr mw you're going to push and hold that and it'll flash what channel it's going to program into push it again memory in and it's locked in so then you're going to press that same button one more time you're going to go over to your memory channels oh one second now. Then you're going to go back to memory. Okay. And then... Trying to remember how to do this. You're gonna go over to two function set and it's menu option 29 it'll say nmwrt just so you can see there then what you're gonna do is you're gonna press your function button your function button again and you're gonna use the dial below your volume dial to scan through the letters so for me it would be VO1 just punch this in right quick and every time you get the letter right you press the function button and it'll go to the next one
And then when you get the last one locked in, you're going to press your function button again. It'll stop flashing. And if you bump your key button right quick. Now, instead of showing the frequency, it'll show you the, the, the name of the repeater that you've just programmed in. And it's literally that simple to set up. And uh, that's it for today. Later on, uh, oh, uh, tomorrow or the next day, probably going to do a quick video on how to get Echolink up and running and probably run a quick test video on it. So, cheers until next time. Have a great day.